Hey everybody, this is Shane from Gaming Shogun. I'm here with Paul from NVIDIA. How you doing, Paul? Yeah, I'm doing great. It's the last day of the show. We had a great show this year. Um, you know, for, for all you gamers out there, we're in the back showing a uh, new technology called 3 Division Surround. Mm -hmm. And it's been a big hit in the show. We won a few Best of Show awards. Yeah. And um, it's really cool. So it lets you uh, play... Uh, your favorite PC games on three screens at super high resolution uh, in stereo 3D with 3D vision. So that's what that's what you're seeing behind me right now. And I know because uh, NVIDIA drivers, are, all the 3D vision stuff is so deep into the drivers, it's not something that the developers have to do. It's all done inside the driver, right? Yeah, yeah. It's all done inside the driver. The game actually has no idea it's running in 3D. That's one of the really cool things. Yeah. And uh, we support over 400 games with 3D vision. Uh, 3D vision surround is going to support a whole bunch of them as well. Uh, and that's coming in Q1, you know, in the next few weeks and months. Okay. And I also heard um, that the, the some of the 200 series cards are going to be able to do the 3D surround as well. Do you guys have a list of the exact cards that are capable of doing that, or is that uh, not? Yeah, yeah. So so the GTX 200 series is capable of 3D vision surround, and uh, in behind behind us, we have a next generation architecture uh, codenamed uh, GF100, uh, and that's going to support it as well. So you actually need a lot of horsepower for it. That's why you know we're supporting it on our higher end cards. Okay. Okay, so I mean, you're not talking about like the GT240 stuff like that. You're talking about yeah. like the 216 up, basically. Yeah, exactly. GTX 260 and out. Okay. Is there anything you'd like to tell us about the GF, uh, the G100, or whatever you want to well, call it? Well, it's uh, you know, for those of you guys that are, are out there looking for a new video card, it's going to be really worth the wait. You're going to be able to uh, do amazing graphics, GX11 uh, tessellation, and one of the coolest things for gamers is physics. So everyone wants more realistic physics simulations in their games, and GF100 is just going to blow. Uh, blow everything out of the water when it comes out very soon. So basically the guys that are rushing out to get the, the DX11 cards that are on the market now, you're saying we should wait a little while? I'm just saying you guys are going to regret buying those cards when uh, we release the next generation architecture. That's what I like to hear. So um, for the next generation, it's going to be full SLI support, three-way SLI support, all that good stuff. Well, so we can't really talk about all any really specs or features, but um, I would just say you would think that yeah, we would support all that. Um, and I think most likely you'll be happy to know that we probably won't. So when can we? Uh, when are we going to learn some more details? Like, is there going to be another show, or is there a point where you're going to release more details about this? Um, yeah, I think I think you're going to start seeing a lot more information coming out in the next few weeks. Okay. And um, I'd just say stay tuned and um, you know read, read all your favorite tech sites and gadget blogs and, and gaming sites to to learn more. All right. Well, thank you very much. No problem.